seems fittingly to close my bottle coverage with this. We'll have one more art and olfaction video. Maybe that or an Instagram post. We'll see how I feel day before. Anyways, to push perfumery forward, going to dive into some new terms here on this review. Terms like low intervention, terroir. Did I say that right, Rachel? Batch perfume, living perfume, and sessions. Go to your garden and you are sure to find notes for your perfume there. <clears throat> or one of my favorite places on earth, the farmer's market, for the bounty galore of possible notes. I'm talking Granville Island, Pike's Place, and don't count out the 50 or so around Portland. Chasing the best of the best. I'm Brandon with Therapeutic Fragrance. Love that you're here. Subscribe. Let's go. Let's go. Double the pleasure. Why Brandon? Why two bottles? Well, batch perfume. That is why. This is $300 for 50 ml. For the perfume, you guys saw the unboxing. It's the first, well, this and Keeman are the first ones that I've never bought from Desir. I've heard about Desir. <laughs> I've never heard about Palmares. I remember just, I read the description. I saw the company just, I have these boxes that connect in my brain that I, I've been through enough that like, I think there's something here. I think there's something here. And for me to just, I mean, it's not, I don't, you, you see my collection, it's, it's curated. I'm careful with blind buys. I mean, the last time I had a connection like that was Russian Oud, which I missed out on by a week. It's right when I got into perfume. So I went Russian Musk, Ludi Fleur, Endless. I mean, those are like my first bottle buys ever. Huge, right? Is that crazy? But that's how this felt. It's just this connection. Like, I think there's something here. And with COVID and everything, I literally let the box sit over a month. And um, I, I was just one, one day, okay, let's do an unboxing. I didn't do videos for like five weeks. Did it. And it's one of the few perfumes, again, Fleur, Endless, where you smell it. And it gets better. I mean, <laughs> look how much juice has gone there. It's a natural perfume. You can spray as much as you want. Uh, batch variation, let's get into that very much. She does not create the same perfume every year. It changes. It's natural. It's She's one of the heaviest all-natural perfumers I know of. From the alcohol content, to how she tinctures fruits. If you mention a fruit to her, how'd you get it? How'd you do that? Uh, only isolates. She's taken winemaking skills and brought them in to put in fruit into perfumery. How she knew to put the oud in here is still a mystery to me. A, a U.S. perfumer put in Nagachi oud from rising phoenix of all people. It, it just, it's not. It just doesn't have, she didn't advertise the Rising Phoenix. In the unboxing, I smelled it. I'm like, this is freaking good oud. I'm not, I, I smell a lot of like people using the essential oil company's oud, and it, it's just not, yeah, it, it's oud, but it's not magical, good distillation, great chosen, just one of those things that knocks you away. So the roll on is 2020. We need to, these are going to be two separate reviews. They have to be two separate reviews. They're two separate perfumes, 100%. So I've struggled putting this up here because you are not going to get the passion fruit note that I fell in love with with the unboxing. You are going to get other stuff. You are going to get a money value packed. The 2020 costs the same, but it's worth more. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. What 2019 is, let's 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 just do this one really quick. You're gonna get facets of passion fruit. You you 
you're not going to get nowhere else. She takes some that she tinctures a month longer than that and longer than that. She has different layers of tinctures, processes she's learned from winemaking to tincture this passion fruit and give you a realistic smell that you won't find anywhere. I have it. Best passion fruit, bar none, hands down, beautiful. Yes, 15 minutes to 30 minutes, the beautiful top is gone. And then it becomes a smoky, beautiful thing. Kind of incense in the 2019 one with saffron love pushing up other uh, qualities of the um, perfume and other facets of the passion. Frangipani makes its way known into this. Definitely not that cough syrupy vibe in there. I think it adds to the smokiness with the passion fruit and the oud that happens in here. This is a Rising Phoenix oud. Most of you people know Rising Phoenix on the channel. High-end products. I, I just, I know nobody else that uses his oud for perfumery, so there's that. It's it's expensive stuff. It's expensive food. So this is a way to, to try it in a perfume. Yes, the concentration is very low. It's not like wearing the same mood. It is wearing a perfume and a natural perfume. Long. This is living perfume. This is you literally your body. I, I can't tell you. And I, I've had comments from other big people. Same thing. And their wives like, I just want to keep spraying it on. Your body just wants to soak. Your body's telling you that this has good nutrients in it and wants more and more and more. It, it, it makes you alive. It, yes, $300. All natural. But there's just something in it where you want more of it and you don't care. So for those of you that don't mind that, this is perfume for you, for you, all natural people. I mean, this is this is a whole other bar for natural perfume. She's doing stuff in natural perfume that nobody else is doing. Most people are cheating and putting in isolates to get different fruit flavors. Peach. We're talking big natural people. Raspberry. So here's where the term low intervention comes in. We need to learn a bit of... We're talking natural perfume here now. So, so most natural perfumers, here in Green, Abel, are almost all isolates. And then you have other people that, that are natural perfumers that are some isolates. To me, I don't care if you use isolates or not. It's not good or bad. It um, All nutrients are basically taken out and you're left with a, 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 a bright, Facet smell of the natural. It is natural. It's meant for longevity and projection. There's no benefits of the natural ingredient at all. You only get the smell, but there's no offsets of the synthetic either in your body. So there's that. It's just like a smell good thing that lasts forever. No isolates on her perfume. 100%. Truly 100% all natural. The more research I do, literally most natural perfumes, she is the one of the few people that are 100% all natural. Okay. A <laughs> little more education there. Then you, the low intervention term is people that just maybe 1% to 3% of their perfume is isolates for things that, that they don't want to tincture a ton of and go through the work and they want longevity. Peach is a popular one, raspberry, strawberry. Yes, even the Eastern guys, you see those notes in there, they're isolates, especially if they last a long time. So a lot of education that needs to happen on natural perfumery. I'll bring on people to do teaching better than I'm doing right now, but just introducing the talk of what Palmares is, full review on the bottle. I'm putting it up here at $300 with email, so I, I feel it's important for you guys to know that. You're getting 
some of the best natural perfume in the world. And I'm okay with that. It's, it's healthy. It's literally healthy. Spray it on. I see the value in that myself. Review, Palm Aires. Okay. Passion fruit. Night, the 2019 best passion fruit, hands down, layered throughout the entire wearing. Turns into smokiness with the osmanthus. Saffron provides aromatics. And you get this beautiful oud that resonates off your skin with nice incense notes. Little bit of dried fruit notes and, and some different florals you're going to get throughout the wearing. Beautiful florals that resonate off the skin with the osmanthus. A beautiful pink lotus is used in the perfume that um, you get the pink lotus right off the passion fruit in this. 2020, this is the one you probably, probably have to buy. Um, you might have 2021 now, which I don't have, so I can't review it. This totally different perfume. Now I can get the passion fruit on top. What you're going to get is, I mean, this, this would be perfect. I want to see this in a tar format. I would love to wear this as an atar. I, I, I've told her that already. But how I view these two as summer edition, winter edition. You don't get the passion fruit bright fruit on top of what you do get right away this smoky resinous beautiful dark scent i know what's happening here i wear tons of oud i don't know if she's new to it or not uh no offense this is just my take on it there are five ouds in here now so she went from one oud to five ouds she she left the rising phoenix in here added some different insert ouds in here. And I think she put the descriptions on her website, the other ouds that she's using. The value for dollar you're getting in this version, it's an oud lover's dream. Smoky, dark, with just tons of oud things going on. No barnyard or fecal at all. She picked all ouds that are clean, that are beautiful. The passion fruit just sinks right into it. The pink lotus is not as aromatic. It's it's just this it's this is, it's like an atar, a smoky atar that comes together and just resonates off. It's, it's like an oud wearing with just the, the pink lotus adding a sweetness, that osmanthus adding a sweetness uh, in it. And it's, it's a total oud session. Remember the session word? That's what this is. This is like wearing, I call when I wear my ouds, they're sessions. Just like you burn incense for a session, you know, you burn it and have a session with it. You know, whether you're talking amongst friends, for yourself, however you burn your incense. It, it's, it's a session. That's how wearing this all natural perfume is for me too. It's like a whole session in it. So 2020, smoky, knocking at the top, still beautiful, but totally different perfume. Color is the same. And then 2021, she's bringing back um, the um, passion fruit top. I don't know if she's leaving the five oods in there. Um, th this is great value for the perfume. It's great value. I didn't say the notes, but here are the notes. Extract passion fruit from the perfumer, aged and fresh, pink lotus, juhairu, French panty, saffron, the ganchin oud, and um, amber. So that's the 2019 notes. Scoring the 2019 version of it. Um, so I, the scores are basically the same. They both would get an 89 out of 100. Um, the only thing that flips are the top and the bases. So the um, 2019, 10, 10 top, 8, 10 top on this one. The 2019, 8, 10 base. And then uh, 10, 10 base. It's all oud. It's five ouds. Base is beautiful in that. But both would get an 89 out of 100. The, the other knock on it was longevity. I need to throw away longevity. I, I really don't care about it with naturals all more. 
I have to say it because it's a main thing in perfumery. A lot of people following me. It will be a main thing if I don't bring it up and you guys spend $300 on it. But just the way you feel, you think of it as an incense session. It, it's worth the money to me personally. Total bottle buy. These are easy bottle buys. These are some, I consider Palmeiras some of the best natural perfumery going on right now. It, it's that good. I'm sure she already sold out of 2019. I'm sure she'll sell out of 2020. It's just, she's doing fantastic work on her natural perfume. She samples, check her out. Anyways, for me, 2019 warmer weather, 2020 colder weather. That's just me. They're meant to be year round. They're not meant to be summer, winter. That's just me saying that. Um, I would wear them all year long, creative session, mood sessions. I already have such a strong, strong connection with this 2019. I, I hope it gets remade because, I mean, the connection is is insane. I mean, it was during the deepest of COVID months, summer, a lot of stuff with this perfume. Um, every time I wear it, it's, it's become very special to me. Same with 2020. I mean, I... I Tested and wore this like crazy, too. Um, she gave this to me for feedback. So I took it really seriously. And it was some of the hardest feedback I had ever had to give. Because I'm like, this is not the same perfume. I had to, I have to be honest, it, it was a hard thing for me. But I built a connection with both in different ways. It's amazing. Who do I see wearing this one? Gwen Stefani. Who knows? Perfumer might know her too. Never know. <laughs> How many sprays? It's all natural. Go insane. Go nuts. Keep spraying it on all day long. Keep it by your desk. This is less than two feet, short to medium tailed sillage. Not many will smell it on you. It's up to four hour perfume. Terrar is the only word that we didn't finish on this. She, um, each of her perfumes are built around a location, a place they're from. She strongly believes in picking ingredients that are only from that area that she builds the whole perfume out of. It gets insane when you start talking to her. I mean, she even, the, the Jamaica one's insane, what she did with rum. And I mean, she wants to go to where they make the rum and, and pick fruits and flowers off of that property and just build that perfume with that whole story around it. And it's it's a beautiful thing what she's doing. So that would be the terroir, B building the whole perfume out of out of where everything's grown. You wine connoisseurs, I might be bashing it all together. I'm doing my best. That's what I think it is. But um you know, where all these ingredients are grown from the same dirt, same place, and present as a perfume. Anyways, you and yours be safe. I had this review forever. I'm glad to get this out. It feels good. Love you guys. Be blessed.